Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maida, and you're watching Maida Pours. Thank you so much for joining me today. If it's your first time here, you are very welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, well, thank you so much for coming back. It's so good to see you again. So, I am about to get into today's pour, but before I do, I want to make a really special announcement. I am going to be participating in my very first collaboration in honor of May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. And as an avid Star Wars fan, I am really excited to be a part of this collaboration. It's being put on by an incredible artist by the name of It's Art by Donna M. I will put a link to her channel in the description. Along with all of the rules for this collaboration, it's also a contest, I should mention that. Um, if you enter the contest, you're eligible to win some prizes. All of the, that information is in the description, along with a link to all of the participating artists, and I highly recommend you check them out because there are some incredible ladies participating in this event. And now so. let's get to going over the palette and talking about today's pour. So this is going to be sort of a continuation of the ribbon pour that I did last week. I do have some a similar color palette here, not identical, but I do have my two favorites here <laughs> again. But there is one big difference. I am not using any satin enamel in this. This is only going to be using Artist Law Flow Acrylic. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Highly experimental. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of reactions, minimal reactions, but I'm excited to find out. So first up is the base, which is this Artist Law Flow Acrylic. I did mix this up very thin. I kind of mimicked um, the thinness that I do with my pearl pores, my metallic pearl pores. So this is quite thin. It's mixed um, the same way I mix that, two parts flow trawl to one part paint, some a little a dash of Liquitex pouring medium, and quite a bit of water to thin it down. Um, I will try to show you how it hits the cup there. It leaves a trace but no mount. So this is going to be a little bit thicker, I guess. When I mix it for my metallic pores, there's really no trace, but it is very, very thin. So maybe I need to mix it even thinner. I don't know, we'll find out. Next up, I do have some black mixed up. I'm using Golden Fluid Acrylic Carbon Black, and I do have all of these paints mixed up to you know this normal way I do. I'll put a link to that video where I mix my paints or how I mix my paints, <laughs> but they'll definitely be in the description. So, and All these paints are mixed sort of my sort normal of my way, but with a, quite a bit of water to thin them down. So that's golden fluid acrylic carbon black. Now this is mostly this light portrait pink or light pink by Liquitex Basics with a little bit of the fire opal by Folk Art. And it, I used this last week and it creates this really beautiful coral color that I adore. But this coral, I love. So we're using it again today. And then I've got this minted aqua or minted, yeah, minted aqua by Folk Art um, Acrylic. And this is my favorite color of all time. So probably going to be breaking this out for quite a few paintings in the near future. Um, when I went to my Michaels yesterday, they had restocked their shelves. I was so excited. I actually found extreme sheen and everything on the shelves. Not satin enamel, but you know, it's a start. So next up, we've got Artist Loft in Brilliant Blue. Um, this is a really nice blue. I like this. It's bright. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's a really like solid blue. I like this. And last but not least, I have now this is majoritively Payne's Gray, Liquitex Basics Acrylic Payne's Gray. But I mix this up with what I had left of my dioxazine purple. So this is has a really kind of royal purple hue to it. That's how I describe it. So we'll see how this color turns out. It's my own special concoction. So <laughs> hopefully well. OK, so that is the palette and paints. Now I'm going to break out the canvas, and we're going to get to painting. Let's go. Okay, here we are. Got my canvas out. This is an 18 by 24 inch canvas. And I have my base paint right over here, ready to go. And I have two cups. So I'm actually, wish me luck, I probably shouldn't pour on top of the canvas like that, but 
we're doing it. Okay. <laughs> so I have two cups here and I'm going to layer my paints in each cup. Now in one cup, I'm going to layer them carefully. And in the other cup, I'm going to do it more like a straight pour. Now I'm not sure which one is going to, um, I don't know which one is going to look like what. So I'm sort of experimenting with that as well. So we're going to see, we're going to find out together. Whoop. It's okay if I get some paint on there because honestly, I'm going to be pouring paint <laughs> on this whole thing. So <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. And don't really have any metallics in here except for the little bit. Oh, I totally, <laughs> I poured that one in like the straight cup, not the, oh, well, oh, well, <laughs> I'll do the next one carefully. And, oh wait, just do it straight like that. And a little bit of black, a little bit of black. And I'm trying to decide I think I'm going to just leave these cups like that because I also want to see how this goes um, with just less paint in general. So I'm always experimenting, guys. You know this about me. Okay, so I am ready here to get started with the base. <laughs> That's sort of bothering me, but I have to just let it go. Okay, and I'm going to pour a really generous amount here. Not quite all. I don't know. You never know. I'm actually going to pour just a little bit of it in these cups, just for good measure, just for fun. You never know what it's going to be like until you try, you know? So, okay. Now I'm going to take the first cup and I'm going to do the ribbony effect that I did last time because I really liked how that turned out, but we're going to do two of them. So, and I am you know, I'm going to take my time here, just getting it all, a lot of swirls there. Now I'm going to come in and do the same thing with my second cup. Just got a lot of, <laughs> a lot of ribbons in there. Okay. Now, I think I am going to torch first. Just get any bubbles popped out. Let any cells pop open. Ooh, I see a few little ribbons of my, of my mint aqua green, and I really like it. Okay. So we're going to tilt. I'm going to go corner to corner, and we're going to get this canvas covered. And this paint is going to get really stretched out as we cover it. So we're going to go over that corner first. And then I'm going to come on down to this corner, get it all stretched out. Oh. And then I'm going to bring it back to the center. Oh, I am liking this. I'm going to stretch it down to this bottom corner here. So if this were like if a flip cup or something, I would say I'm stretching it too much. But for this specific technique, it's really all about stretching out your paint. Okay, so I've got the three corners. Now I'm going to come on down to this one. Now I am going to help this one out with my extra white paint. We're going to just come along this side, give it more to flow with here. Okay. And now we're going to get that to go over that last corner. And it'll get there. It might go slow. That's okay. It'll get there. You can encourage it by tapping it down. Just to sort of help make that paint flow. And I can see it doing a few drips, but I like those kind of effects. 
I am falling in love with this style, guys. I am telling ya. I didn't I don't get a chance to paint during the week. I've got a I've got a nine to five job that I've gotta do and uh, three kids I've gotta take care of. But I have been thinking about painting another painting in this style all week long. Like just thinking about the colors and all of it and I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm loving this. Loving, 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 loving. Okay. Just, I'm just sort of testing now. I just want to see how much this paint is moving. Not too much. I kind of knew with how, how sort of slow it got stretched over that last corner, I knew it wasn't going to be too tilty, but I always got to check. You? <laughs> So now I am going to torch, see if any cells pop open, see what's going on with that. I, so for now, I am going to let this develop. See you in a second. <laughs> wow. All right. This is gorgeous. I am probably going to do another painting with my leftover paints. Very similar to this. Next, they can be sister paintings, although the next one, I think I'm going to try to use a little bit more coral. Um, I love this, and I love that I did get some cells and effects going on all throughout here, but it's not overwhelming, um, at least not for me. <laughs> this is totally to my taste. And the color scheme, I love the blues. There is just a little bit of coral in here, um, which is a nice accent but I do think I'm going to do another painting very similar to this with but try to bring out the coral a bit more. So I was noted I was realizing I didn't use any metallics in this piece which is a little unusual for me but I just I love it so I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed creating it because I loved creating this piece. Please do hit that like button, like, share, and subscribe, as they say. And if you do enjoy watching acrylic pouring videos, please do consider subscribing because this is what I do here. So thank you so much for watching. I am going to bring you in for a close-up now. Be sure to check out that um, contest for the collaboration down in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to take you down real close. Real up close and personal here. Show you all of these incredible cells and effects. Oh, I think that's so pretty in there. So pretty. It's hard to stay focused when there's this much going on. And the aqua is just, I feel like this has a real organic feeling to it, the way it all like connects and sort of flows together. I love the color scheme doing my best to keep this in focus but there's so much going on my camera's having a, a bit of a difficult time but that's okay just all down in here the cells really popped and formed they didn't get it i don't think there was really enough paint on the canvas to allow them to grow into large cells but i don't know i'm gonna keep experimenting this however i consider a total success thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.